hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have some more hair for you guys um so this hair is actually from a company called be a hair and i got it in a ombre color and if you guys know me then you know that i dye my hair blonde at least once a year and it always falls out and i keep doing it um so this time i got some hair that i don't have to dye my real hair with so i got the Brazilian Body Wave, and first of all, let's talk about the packaging. So it comes in this cute little bag, um, and it just comes regular FedEx. It took about three or four days to get here, and I got, again, the Brazilian Body Wave um, and the Blonde Ombre in 20, 22 and 24, and then the closure. Um, so take the hair out of the bag. It just comes in the regular little plastic um, and the ombre actually looks really good from right here. So the hair comes inside of that packaging and let me just go ahead and take it out. So this is the closure. I'm actually gonna make a wig with this. Um, so I just wanted to come and show you guys the hair before um, I do it. So this is what the closure looks like. I might have to re-dye it just because I don't like the way that the ombre is cut straight across. Um, so I might bleach up a little bit higher just so that it fades in a little more. Cause I usually, I always dye my own hair. I've never got um, colored hair like this from a, um, from a company. I usually just do it myself unless it's like a wig. Um, so, The bundles actually look a little better, like they blend a little more. But this is what the hair looks like. This is the 24 inch. So it's pretty long. It comes to my waist um, when I stretch it out. Uh, the hair has a slight smell. Um, it's not really fishy. It kind of smells like uh, weave glue, like the track glue. If you guys ever smelled that, it kind of smells like that but it's not really strong. Um, so that was the 24. This is the 22 inches. The hair is really soft and it doesn't look damaged from the bleach. It still actually has a shine to it. Um, but, ah. yeah, and this is the 20 inches. So yeah, uh, this one is actually blended really good. So yeah, I, I, the only one that seems to be a little weird is the closure. And the closure actually seems to be a little lighter than the rest of the hair, if you guys can see that. Like, the closure is a little more blonde. This is more like a honey blonde. Um, but it should blend, it should blend in because you know the closure is not as thick as the rest of the hair will be. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come show you guys the hair, what it looked like. I'll have all the information in the description box below. And yeah, I'm going to go make this wig. Hi guys, so I'm back. And I ended up making a wig with the hair. Again, this is the Brazilian Body Wave and Ombre. I didn't, um, I said I was going to like re-bleach it to blend it better, but I didn't do that yet because I thought that I can get away with it. But it's a little like choppy under here. So I think I need to blend, uh, to bleach it a little more, to blend it up here and to like blend these parts up here. Um, but other than that, I think that it looks really, really good. And I didn't even realize that this is a silk top closure. So I never, I've never had a silk top closure um, before and I didn't realize it, re realize it. I didn't realize it until I started making the wig. Um, and if you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you see me making the wig. Um, but this closure is everything. It's a little too light for me. So I did have to put um, a darker powder over it, but like it is, I like it. I might like it a little more than I like the regular lace closures because you can't see like the net and like the little pores um, on the top. But um, it was a little harder to sew on the wig because it kept wrinkling up. And um, I originally had sewed it down and it wrinkled up. So when I was parting it, it looked like I had a lumpy scalp because it looks like scalp. So I had to take it down and make sure that it was pulled tight. But other than that, um, 
I really, really like the hair. Um, I ended up brushing out the original pattern that it had because I wanted to keep it, but I was a little too rough with the closure, so the closure had got poofy. Um, so I just brushed it out and put a few loose curls in it and, and brushed those out. But this is, this is it. It's really long. Um, again, I'll have all the details down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.